So this patient's coming in for evaluation of a lesion that's been there now for a number of weeks on his lip. You can see it's eroding, ulcerated through here. I'm showing this case for two reasons. One, to show you, this is something, I do lots of lesions, I do lots of cancer removals. This procedure is beyond me from the standpoint of, you'd have to excise this whole issue and you get into plastics issues because the border of the lip is called the vermilion border here. And if I was to take this out entirely, you have to really make sure from a plastics perspective, this comes back together nicely or else you have any symmetry that's there consistently. And you can also tell looking at this, the ulcerated margin runs all the way through here. So it begs the question, what are we doing today? Regrettably, and this is the frustration with various medical systems, I've sent away a referral for him two or three times right now, and they're not getting back to us because we don't have technically a tissue diagnosis. So we're essentially what we're doing is we're, even though I know this is a cancer, um, I'm actually gonna be doing a shave biopsy here and cauterizing it because I can't get the actual specialist involved until I actually have a tissue diagnosis. And this is dragging on too long. And that's the frustration certainly of our system, uh, but we have to sort of work within that system. So I've frozen around through here. So despite the fact that this is on the vermilion border, I'm gonna do a shave biopsy. And as long as I cauterize it and I don't take the tissue out, we should still retain the, the symmetry along that actual border. Does that hurt when I do this at all? Mm -hmm. So the other downside with this, which is why usually I hope that they just see it without actually doing a biopsy, this is a vascular lesion because that's what these type of cancers are. So this is going to have a big blood supply. Just put pressure on that for me. Mm -hmm. So you have to know that heading in. Dab that for me, please. Dab that again. I'm just trying to see what I want to do here. Because cauterizing this will obviously be a bigger challenge because this have a big blood supply. So what you have to do in these cases is, I put a lot of pressure, this is our hyphricator that sends a current down. And then just as soon as I lift up on it even just a little bit, I want to be cauterizing. That's not hurting? Mm -mm. And I talked about this in other videos, depending on how it cauterizes, you can tell it's normal or not normal tissue. Um, cancerous tissue, you want to slip his glasses off for me for a quick second? Sure. You're good, you're good. Um, cancerous tissue or warty tissue is very friable, so it breaks down. So this is why here I want to have just a balance where I'm taking off some of the abnormal tissue, but really just getting this to stop bleeding. You can see how it's on the tip, how it's just breaking apart. And that's because it's atypical tissue. You're okay? Mm-hmm. So obviously here you want to make sure you have decent freezing because if you didn't, this would be very uncomfortable. Do you want to swallow? I'm all right. You're good? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you're doing this, patients are awfully forgiving, so they, they stay in a position that's uncomfortable for them. And with his mouth open, like sometimes he'll have to swallow and if we don't recognize that, he can sit there and be uncomfortable for 10, 15 minutes. Thanks so much. So you can tell it's starting to settle back down, like it's starting to cauterize more like normal tissue behind it. And all I want to achieve here is a basic coating so it's not bleeding too much. We can put a dressing on this. It's obviously hard to put a dressing on the lip. Mm -hmm.
And that's the other thing I should mention too with hyphricators like this, you have to always be dabbing because if you fix it, it'll stick to the tissue and then you pick it up and it'll pull that scab off. Almost done. So we're just gonna put a bit of a dressing on that there mm -hmm. and then we'll send this out to pathology. And now mm -hmm. oddly enough, even though that looks like a big, huge scab, that'll fall off. If we were clear of dysplastic tissue or cancerous tissue, even something that looks like that, looks like a cigarette or a cigar was put on his lip, that'll actually heal nicely. Um, but we have to make sure the underlying tissue is taken care of. So we'll send that off. So this is the patient where we scraped off um, a thickened lesion that we thought was squamous cell cancer. It actually did come back as squamous cell cancer, but I'm just shooting the video to show you how well this is healed. The entire lip margin looks completely healthy. So we're gonna see if we do need to do any additional procedures with it, but I just wanna show you to let you see how well these can heal despite doing extensive biopsies that look pretty ugly when you do them, but that looks pretty, pretty good. Yeah, very good.